Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see how to determine corrosion rate for static equipment material. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now let us say we want to know what is the corrosion rate. Okay, if we were, if we have to provide corrosion allowance for a material, we need to know the corrosion rate, right? So how it can be derived? How corrosion rate can be derived? Any thoughts on that? How we can determine what will be the corrosion rate? Like many times we see the three mm corrosion allowance is given, one point five mm. What exactly might be the basis of that? Service life, yes, but not only service life. Service life is one parameter and other past data, that is also good. Reduction of thickness over time, yes, Imanshu, very much right. So, reduction of thickness and time, okay, that will determine the corrosion rate. So, now if we have to determine that, how, from where to start with? So, one is previous experience, which Imdad Uday has spoken about that we have the data from the earlier project. Okay. So with that, we can say this is what this rate is what is expected. Okay. And then we can calculate, you know, if it is having like 0 0.05 mm per year, how much it will corrode in 10 or 20 years, whatever is the service line. But what if we don't have the previous data. In that case, there are lab experiments which are done. Okay. See, because now we have been using all this material for a very long time. So we have lots of data. Okay. And this is the data which is feeded into the software. Okay. To determine how the material will behave. Okay. So the software which we use for predicting or the materials engineers which use for different environments like if partial pressure of H2S, partial pressure of CO2, if all are there like H2 is there, H2S, CO2 is there, how your material will behave, that is possible with previous data. Okay, So software, we have inserted lots of data. And with that, it will predict what will be the behavior. Okay. And second is lab experiment where we can accelerate the similar environment. We can do the accelerated study of the same environment. So in short time, we'll be able to predict the behavior of the material for a longer period. Okay. Making sense, guys? Are you with me? Okay. So the lab experiment and software application and previous data software application is nothing but collection of previous data okay so with these two we can determine the corrosion rate once we have the corrosion rate like 0 0.01 inch per year for that material that will be very specific to that service and the material both are involved same different material will behave differently okay so once we know this, and let us see when we know the life of that vessel for which I need to design, then we will be able to find the corrosion allowance, right? So this is the proper method. Okay. So now you know how many agencies are involved. See, many times people ask the questions like, you know, how we decide the corrosion allowance. Okay. So generally, most of the companies it is based on exper experience, you know, similar projects, similar corrosion alliance, either given by client or by process. Okay. But exactly how it should happen. This is the method by which it should be determined. Okay. I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned with us. Do watch our other videos related to the material.